our older boy Spencer um, is where our kind of our journey with RCH started. We had Spencer in there um, for an extended period as well. Infants who are born at 23 weeks will have a number of issues related to their breathing, possibly related to their gut and their growth. Griffin was so unwell that we went back to Piku and they called um, my husband and said you should probably come down and bring Spencer as well because things were really bad. Which, you know, no parent ever wants to be having that conversation. But unfortunately we had had these conversations many times. That bowel surgery was kind of our last resort for him. We were all really, really nervous about that and the surgeon had gone through his consent with me and he said, I've never seen a consent with this, with this many complications listed. And I honestly, I just didn't know if we were gonna see him again. We weren't quite sure what they might find when they went in um, because it was really an exploration at that point to find whether or not there was a blockage in the bowel. We couldn't detect and um, because at that point we had preempted with the family that it, it didn't go well it might alter our decision-making in terms of a more palliative approach. Then when we saw the surgeon straight after that, um, he'd come back from the theatre, just the look on his face and the hope in his voice was totally different. It was so nice to see such a turnaround and you know that gave us so much hope that things would be so different for Griffin. There were so many wonderful allied health professions that were available to support Griffin. So um, it wasn't only OT and physio, there was music therapy involved as well, there was speech pathology that were involved. So the only way to really get him home was to have him on a tracheostomy, which obviously goes directly into his airway from outside and then it's connected to a machine. It wasn't a sad thing as such that Griffin was having a tracheostomy put in. It was our, our way of getting home. It was our way of getting our family back together. Once he had that right balance of his breathing support and his nutrition and the therapies that he was having, as well as the support from his family and friends, he was actually able to develop his gross motor skills even more. So that meant he could sit up, he could change positions easily, he could reach out and grab things. And he actually started to do some standing and things as well, which was really exciting for him and the family. He has continued to rally and defy the odds, and that's his spirit coming through. And we love saying that because that gives us hope um, for his future as well. Just being able to be home, there honestly is no words to describe it. You just like, it's just amazing. They're still coordinating so many things to help us to stay at home. And there's nothing that we could ever say to to thank them for that because just it's given us a whole different life now and hopefully it stays that way for a long time. Mm -hmm.